Our story begins at just magic hour, where magical kids work their magical powers. All around the playground, defying natural law, kids fly around. Whenever they'd race, the winner was Chase. With the power of speed, he would be first place. See, even from birth, the worth of mankind was defined not by their worth, but by how much power they could find. All alone sat Lucy, who had no spells or tricks. All she could do was simply wave sticks. But with no magic and a lack of pride, Lucy sat alone, unsatisfied. But one day her brother, who was just like another, strong and athletic, looked over sympathetic. Now with a thought to make his sister grin, over he brought her a new violin. She was ecstatic, something to focus on, with nothing around to hocus pocus on. Day after day, our protagonist played, while others cast spells, she just stayed away. Eager to fully learn the technique, a girl who felt different now felt unique. One Leslie McFinch was a talented witch, but with too much potential, was a bit of a bitch. But rather than cower, they struck back with hostility, because with great power comes great response ability. The war had begun, the sides now formed, what used to be fun was now fully deformed. According to the Constitution, though it seems tragic, the only viable solution would be more magic. But the war evolved with fighting and betraying, and with nothing resolved, she continued her playing, louder and louder to drown out the sound, as all of a sudden the kids turned around. Just like that, the fighting was gone. What are they looking at? Wait, hold on. The song, how smart. All along, it was art. And it's not just music, it's film, it's dance, and all the others that give hope a chance to make peace out of chaos in two minutes flat. Now what could be more magic than that?